Hi, this video is here to help you with using scale factors. The scale factor is a term we use to describe the ratio of corresponding side lengths in similar shapes. If you haven't already, it might be useful to go back and watch our videos all about how to use ratio. Let's begin by looking at these two triangles. We can check if the shapes are similar by labelling the corresponding sides, the sides which are in the same position within the shapes. On the green triangle, side A is 3 cm, side B is 4 cm, side C is 5 cm. We can write this as the ratio 3 to 4 to 5. On the purple triangle, side A is 6 cm, side B is 8 cm and side C is 10 cm. We can write this as the ratio 6 to 8 to 10 but we can use our knowledge of ratio to simplify this ratio because all of the numbers in it can be divided by two. This means the ratio becomes three to four to five. As the lengths of the corresponding sides are in the same ratio in both shapes, we can say that these shapes are similar. Furthermore, the corresponding angles in both similar triangles will remain the same. The scale factor is the number we have multiplied each of the corresponding sides by to create the enlarged shape. The purple shape is two times as big, so the scale factor of enlargement is two. Let's look at two different shapes. What scale factor has the yellow rectangle been enlarged by to make the blue rectangle? The blue rectangle is three times as big. So the scale factor of enlargement is three. Sometimes we are given the scale factor and we need to use this to find the lengths of the sides of either the original shape or the shape of enlargement. This square is enlarged by scale factor four. What will the length of each side of the enlarged shape be? Because this is a square, we know that all the sides are the same length of 2.5 centimetres. If the scale factor of enlargement is 4, the enlarged shape is 4 times bigger. 2.5 times 4 equals 10, so the enlarged shape will have sides that measure 10 centimetres. Now it's your turn. An equilateral triangle is enlarged by scale factor 10. The enlarged shape has a side length of 500 millimetres. What was the length of each side on the original shape? The shape was enlarged by scale factor 10, so the enlarged shape is 10 times as big. To find the original length, we need to make the measurement 10 times smaller. 500 divided by 10 is 50, so the length of each side on the original shape was 50 millimetres. Now it's time for a challenge. This shape is enlarged by scale factor 7. The enlarged shape has a perimeter of 98 metres. What is the length of the missing side of the shape? How did you do? The shape is enlarged by scale factor 7, so the enlarged shape is 7 times bigger. If the perimeter of the enlarged shape is 98 metres, the perimeter of the original shape is 7 times smaller. 98 divided by 7 equals 14. So the perimeter of the original shape is 14 metres. The sides we have been given add up to 9 metres. So the missing side must be 14 subtract 9, which equals 5. The length of the missing side is 5 metres. I hope this helped you understand how to use scale factors. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?